Now it's time for lunch, and I'm here with my man Kyle Kingsbury, Director of Human Optimization here at Onnit. And one of the things we talk about in the book is eating a weird lunch, and that's going to be foods with all kinds of variety and sourced from really good sources. Now, a lot of times I'll have the opportunity to meal prep and bring stuff, but when we don't, and when we have a bunch of guests like we do today, oftentimes I'll find a local restaurant like Thai Fresh, which is one of our favorite which has all different types of ingredients sourced that Kyle will kind of talk to you about and inform you on what the benefits of uh, some of these foods are that we have for lunch here. Yeah, bottom line is our ancestors ate a wide variety of foods and we really don't do that today. But we can if we like to get some good high quality sourced meats, meaning pasture raised, no antibiotics, and basically free roaming like they were in nature, along with a variety of foods, herbs and spices. Now we could accomplish that if we eat ethnic foods. So we've got some different curries here. We've got some high fat coconut broth soup and some kale salad with a number of different nutrients in there as well. By hitting all the bases here, we can really give our body the micronutrients that it deserves and needs. Yeah, these spices have all kinds of, every different spice has different micronutrient ingredients that are gonna be beneficial. So anytime you see something like a curry, you know, you gotta be mindful of them adding sugar because the one thing we wanna avoid and the one thing that you won't see here is a lot of carbohydrate, a lot of sugar, because we want to stay stable through the workday. we got a lot of shit to do today. We can't afford that big blood sugar spike and that big blood sugar crash. we got another six hours. we got to crush. we got to get into our workout. And then for dinner, we can layer in some carbs. So importantly, keeping that low, mostly protein, vegetables, and then a lot of healthy fats here as well. And then other random ingredients. You know, this is Thai food right here. So this Tom Ka soup, this is going to have some fish sauce, which is going to be, you know, small oily fish, which is going to help boost our omega-3 fatty acids. You know, all too often that omega-3 to omega-6 ratio gets off and then things get kind of squirrely. Yeah, inflammation goes up. Obviously in these curries, they're using turmeric and other spices that can help lower inflammation. And like Aubrey said, if I eat a carb heavy meal right now, that's the fastest way to help us fall flat on our face come 3 p.m. And we don't want that. We got to stay productive. Yeah, for sure. We got shit to do. Shit to do. Let's and get it done. And the first thing to do is to eat this fucking lunch because it smells good as shit. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs>